you know, we've eliminated the, the, the training wage. Um, <laughs> yesterday, I, I spoke to three American government classes at Newtown High School, um, and I actually had students surprise the living daylights out of me uh, by saying, hey, please vote not to raise the minimum wage because then I won't be able to have a summer job. Um, so, you know, there, there are um, ancillary impacts that are unintended that will happen here um, regarding our youth and their ability to engage in, you know, in productive learning experiences versus trying to figure out how they're going to kill their time over the summertime. Um, but also, in addition to the students that actually were concerned about whether or not they were going to be able to work until they actually graduated from college or from a trade school, um, I've heard from several home health care uh, workers and agencies. Um, and, you know, for the benefit of some folks that are newer on the committee, I, um, um, m my family cares for elderly relatives, and we, we extensively use home health care. Um, and right now, we also are using um, a nursing home for, uh, for my father because he's progressed past that ability. But the home health care agencies, um, and this is going to be somewhat what you heard from Representative Case, um, just using a different example, but the home health care agencies, you know, in the past 10 years, you know, we've given them one increase of, of about 2% as far as their Medicaid reimbursements. and. And, and um, right now they're looking at a uh, potentially uh, a, a 30 to 50 percent increase in, in what's going to be their wage rate, um, even for their employees that are in their organizations above $15 an hour. Um, and I, one of them actually say to me, uh, this is just going to drive us out of Connecticut, which, by the way, Representative Belinsky, this was the conversation, uh, means that the folks that we care for are going to be left with precious few choices and will be driven to institutional care, which costs seven times as much as doing the home health care thing um, and creates a greater state burden. So, you know, while I believe that, that equity and paying a fair wage is really important, um, I think that from a consideration of all of the folks that live in the state of Connecticut that are amongst our vulnerable population, whether they're um, IDD or whether they're aged people, um, we need to understand the impact. And I'm not certain that this state can afford to put enough budget money into, considering our financial situation, into the budget for these health care providers. So in essence, um, we're going to be changing the paradigm and putting a lot of our nonprofits in a terrible condition and possibly out of business.